Okay, we're going to look at bass note strumming, and uh, basically the root of the chord is the same name as the chord. So if I play an A chord, uh, that is an open A. The A is the, and that's the strongest voicing of the chord to play the root note on the bottom string. So what we're going to do is we're going to do root fifth or alternating bass drum. So we're going to look at the fifth for the A chord family. So here's an A chord. And we also have an A7, okay, and then an A minor, okay, an A chord, A7, we don't know what an A chord is, second finger on the D string, uh, second fret, third, or some people do it, the uh, first finger on the D string, second fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the B string. Now. For this chord, and then the A minor is second finger on the D string, second fret, third finger on the G string, second fret, and first finger on the B string. And the A7 is first finger on the D string, second fret, and then second finger on the B string, second fret. So all these chord families, take a look at the right hand. Okay, so we're going to go, one, say if I do an A, the root note will be here. Then I'm going to strum the chord, and then the fifth below it, the alternating bass, will be here on the E string. Then I strum the chord. So I have the root note, strum the chord, fifth strum the chord. I want to get it accurate too with the right hand. thing I'm doing is changing my left hand. Still root note strum. Then A minor. Oops. So. Okay, so that is for the A chords. Now the B7 chord looks like this. Second finger goes on the A string second fret, first finger goes on the D string first fret, third finger goes on the second fret on the G string, and the uh, pinky is on the third fret on the high E string. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play the root note, which is this guy right here, lowest note, and then we're going to move our second finger on the E string second fret, we're going to play that. So again we're going to go A string, strong my second finger up to the second fret on the E string, and strum. Okay, let's take a look at my right hand. So we're going to keep that chord, that B7, and we have to alternate our fingers. So we're going to go the fifth string, strum, and then move my second finger up to the sixth string. Strum, fifth string, sixth string. Second finger on the fifth string, strum, move it up to the sixth, and you move it back. Pick up the left hand one more time. Chord, if, if you don't know what a C chord is, first finger goes on the B string, first fret, second finger goes on the second fret on the D string, and third finger goes on the third fret on the A string. Now it's going to be the same thing like the B. The root note will be here on the third fret, close note of the chord, and then I got to move my third finger up. So I'm going to play the root note on the fifth string, strum the chord, and then move my third finger up. On the sixth string, strum the chord. There's an alternate to this. Uh, what some people do is they make the C chord and they take that third finger and, and leave it there on the sixth string, and then the pinky goes on the fifth string, third fret. So now we have. I don't have to move anything. You can do it that way too. It's totally up to you. So let's take a look at the right hand. How we're going to do this? We're going to go fifth string, make our C chord, fifth string root, strum. Sixth string root, strong. Fifth string root, sixth string root. Oh, sorry. Sixth string root. Fifth string root, sixth string root. Fifth string root, sixth string root. Then we're going to look at the D chord family. So, the D chords we have for D, we have the D, which is the first finger on the second fret on the G string, 
second finger on the high E string second fret and third finger on the third fret on the B string. And then we have a D7 chord, which is the mirror image of a D, or second finger goes on the G string second fret, first finger goes on the B string first fret, and third finger goes on the high E string third fret. And then we have a D minor chord, second finger goes on the A string uh, second fret, sorry, A string, D, G string second fret, third finger goes on the B string third fret, and first finger will go on the thinnest string first fret. So now the, the root note, let's take a look at the right hand here. The root note will be open D. I'm just making a D chord right now. And then the, the, the string above it, which would be called, we call it below, is the alternate or the fifth. So we have D, strum, then the fifth. So that's for a D. Okay, I'm just going to play the open D and then the open A. A D7 chord, do the exact same thing, D, open A. What's that? doesn't matter if you make a minor, major, or dominant seventh, it doesn't matter. Also on the D minor, same idea. family. Let's take a look at the E chord family. Second finger goes on the uh, A string second fret. Third finger goes on the D string second fret. First finger goes on the G string uh, uh, first fret. And make an E7, move your third finger off there. Okay? So now your second finger is on the A string second fret and your first finger is on the G string first fret. To make an E minor, put the third back on, lift the first off. So our second finger will be on the A string, second fret, and third finger will be on the D string. Okay, now let's take a look at the right hand. We'll go back to an E chord. The root note will be the big sixth string, strum the chord, and then we have the fifth string, strum the chord. So we have six, five. So we have sixth string, fifth string, sixth string, fifth string. Same thing for the E7. Same thing. Sixth string, fifth string, sixth string, fifth string, sixth string, fifth string. Same thing with the E minor. Open sixth string, fifth string. The root note will be the E. This will be the fifth. F chord. Okay, the F chord we have to move a finger. First finger to make an F chord, the first finger bars the first fret on the top two strings, that's the E and B string, or first second string. Second finger goes on the G string second fret, third finger goes on the D string. Now, so that's an F chord. Now what I do is I move my third finger up. So I can move my third finger up and play the fifth string. So we have this. Okay, an alternate version of this, by the way, is third finger on the fifth string, third fret, pinky on the third fret on the uh, D string, but I'm not going to do that from demonstrating this. So let's take a look at our right hand. I'm just going to take that F. I'm going to play the fifth string, top three notes. I'm going to move my third finger up to the fifth string, top three notes on the third fret. Take a look at the G chord. That will be the final one. Uh, second finger goes on the big thick string. Third fret, first finger will go on the A string second fret. I'm doing a country G, so my third finger is going to go on the third fret on the B string. Pinky is going to go on the third fret on the high E string. You could also play your G like this, just have the third finger on the high E string. This one's a bit more tricky. You have to play sixth string is the root. And then the fifth is the open D. So we're going to go root note, strum, then D. Root note, sixth string, then open D. It's a bit tricky because you have to do some string skipping. A lot of them were just like just strings above or below, so it's really easy.
want to do is just practice so you know where these root notes are. Oh boy. 